It's time, time, time for Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Helping to get your day started right. Good morning, <coughs> excuse me, and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, February 25th, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day and commit this day to Him. Use this day. To bring honor to our Lord, use this day to encourage somebody, to share your faith with somebody, to show somebody our Lord Jesus. Because if they don't hear it from you, if they're not encouraged from you, then who are they going to be encouraged from or who are they going to hear the gospel from? And while you're at it today, give God praise because he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter number 6, verses 1 through 3. Scripture says, Therefore, leaving leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptism, and of laying on of hands, and of the resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permit. Friends, the writer of Hebrews here is encouraging us to to grow in our faith and grow in our maturity. And we studied at the end of chapter number 5 yesterday where we were talking about milk and strong meat and how we were not supposed to stay babies in Christ or baby Christians our whole entire life that we are to move on to the deeper things. And that's what the writer here is is saying when he says here in verse number 1, of Hebrews chapter 6, when he says, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection. He's not telling us that we need to leave Jesus, that we need to get away from Jesus. But instead, what he's saying here is, is later on in, the ver- in that same verse, he says, Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. He's saying we got to move on to the deeper things of Christ, to the to the to growing more and more and more like him. At church last night, we were talking about 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse number 18, where Paul says that that now we're looking at, at Christ in the mirror. Or in other words, the word of God is the mirror. And we see the glory of God in the word of God. And we see the the things of God in the word of God. And that word that we see and those things that we see we need to apply to our lives so that we can grow and become the image of Jesus, become the image of God in this world. And it's a spiritual growth thing. It's a spiritual growth. We have to grow spiritually. We have to mature spiritually. And, and that's what we're being challenged here to do. We need to leave behind the elementary teachings. And we need to move on to perfection. To move on to perfection. I don't know about you, but I want to move on to perfection. To being exactly what God wants me to be. And then he says, Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. And then jump down to verse 3. He says, And this we will do. This they will go on. They will not lay again these basic foundations. They will move on t- and teach the the things of God, the deep things of God. Then he says, if God permit. Friends, are you in a spot where you're growing mature spiritually today? You're you're maturing spiritually? Or are you still just nothing more than a babe in Christ? Think about that as you go through this day and remember get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm-hmm.